All right, so we had another question come in from the field, and what are the common troubleshooting um, questions that uh, we should be aware of uh, when we look at our new RO system? And uh, using the RO and you're not getting enough water out the other end. All right, the first thing I would look, look for is what is the water pressure coming in? If it's not at least 60, you're not likely to get enough flow through the RO membrane because it needs water pressure to push the water through and give you good water for your DI resin. If it is below 60 or maybe even 63 in your market and you're not happy with the water, you'll need to add a booster pump. And there's a wide variety of booster pumps um, starting around $125 and, and going up from there. Um, the, uh, the most popular one is an impeller pump that is uh, uh, not a positive displacement pump because with a positive displacement pump all the water it pumps has to go somewhere. So with an impeller pump it just creates pressure and the H2 Pro will use what it needs to get the job done. And a $125 booster pump will produce an extra 40 PSI. So even if you're as low as 35 PSI coming off of well water, you can boost that water up to 75 or 80 quite easily. And uh, so boosting your water to get more flow. Um, I've uh, started to rise above TD 10 TDS is another question. And I don't have a DI resin cartridge. Is there anything I can do? Possibly. When the water goes through the resin, all right, it doesn't touch all of it. It's really hard to get the water to go through and use all of the resin that's in the tube, which makes it even more difficult when you have small resin canisters, okay, to truly get the service life out of them in that instance. So on a larger one, you may have some pockets of resin that's still good in there that you could use, but the water's already found a path through there that's ignoring it. So what you can do is to open up your DI resin, take the cartridge out, shake it up, all right? Shake it up, turn it over, put it back in, and you may see, you likely will see, the TDS fall for another, maybe even an hour's worth of work. And you'll get away without having to stop work on that job. Um, if you are keeping a resin cartridge in your vehicle for exchange, which we recommend, make sure that that cartridge is sealed and airtight because the DI resin wants to clean the air just as much as, much as it wants to clean the water. It'll take the ions right out of the air and then it'll be dead like a battery. It will die. So keep your DI resin sealed whenever you're not using it, including the bag in storage if you're filling your own.